night y'all it's monday december 5th i just left the house i'm about to go to cvs so my cycle is late it's like two days late but i don't know if i'm if it's just late because of the health issues that i got going on like i've been dealing with the health issues for a while now but last month was the first time that my cycle was actually late because of my health issues so but last month it was only like a day late but this month i'm three days late on one app and then two days late on the next app and i was just gonna wait just to see what happens because of course like i said i've been dealing with health issues which i think that's all it is but y'all know i just had an egg topic literally last year december and it's better to catch an ectopic pregnancy early before it's too late. So the reason I'm going to go get a test now is just because if I am pregnant, I want to be able to make sure everything is good ahead of time before it's too late. So I don't think I'm pregnant, but I mean, I don't know. So anyways, I'm just bring y'all with and we just about to find out together. I'm nervous and I do not know why. Like. It's like no matter how many times you've been pregnant, taking a pregnancy test still makes you nervous. <sighs> so I got my red cup, so I'm gonna pee here and you know how it goes. I'm pregnant. I was gonna wait to tell Adrian, but I gotta call him. Yeah, I'm nervous. I'm excited too. And it's crazy because like God works in mysterious ways. Like literally last December is when I had my egg topic. I had to have the surgery. They went inside. They removed the baby. And you know, we were heartbroken, you know. And literally a year later, December again, I found out that we pregnant. Like it is so crazy, but I just wanna, so I had to schedule my appointment. I had an appointment December 15th anyways, just for my annual pap smear. So because of, um, because I'm possibly, well, because I'm pregnant now, um, I have to have an ultrasound report, important. I have to have an ultrasound um, appointment. So instead of me doing the regular pap smear checkup, they canceled that one and I just got the ultrasound appointment, which is gonna be December 20th at 2.30 PM. So this is crazy y'all, but I'm nervous. And I'm excited. I'm nervous just because I don't want to go in and get bad news like we did about the ectopic. So, I don't know. Hopefully, and I'm praying, everything is going to be all right with this pregnancy. And then we can finally get our rainbow baby. It is so, it is so crazy. And I don't want to get emotional. But I really feel like crying. Because like, it's crazy. If y'all know me, I want four kids. I want two girls. I want two boys. 
I already got a girl, I already got a boy, so I'm basically halfway there. But I really want four kids. I came from an only child home. Adrian was the only child in his mom's side as well. So I think that's why we both want like a see my big family. But I don't know. I was gonna wait until December 15th, the same exact day that we had the uh egg topic, the uh surgery to tell Adrian, but that's like a whole week and a few days from now. And I couldn't wait that long, especially because we're not going to tell anybody because of what we just went through last December. So we're literally keeping it between us. So of course, by the time y'all see this video, it's going to be later, you know. But I don't know. I had to tell him. He's uh, in Austin, Texas, as a matter of fact, working. So he's not even here with me. So I feel like that's worse because ain't nobody here with me. Like, he out of town working. So I had to tell him. I was going to wait, but I had to tell him. But he'll probably come to my appointment with me December 20th. And we just gonna see. So y'all, we, well, I can't say pray for me because by the time y'all see this video, we don't know, you know, if everything's good or not. But I'm excited, y'all. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. You might be a little bit further along than six weeks where it is. That's the yolk sac. That's kind of what feeds the baby. So it is in the right place this time. But it's the heart? Mm hmm That's heartbeat. 95% chance it's going to progress into a normal pregnancy after you see the heartbeat. So yeah, it's in your uterus. It would be very hard for me to find an ectopic pregnancy. I found one, but it's very hard. That's how Dr. Gleaton was too. She had to go and get the, um, mm -hmm. what it was, the expert Sonata to find her? it because yeah. she couldn't find it. I know, I found one the other day and I'm like, I can never find <laughs> ovaries otherwise until yeah. it's this one weird <laughs> pregnancy. I was like, it is not in the right spot. Yeah, yeah, you're measuring like perfectly. Nine okay. weeks, six, or nine weeks. Dang, girl. I'm it's showing now. I'm pushing you ahead. No, oh, okay. Six, six, three days. <laughs> I don't know. I can't speak today again. <laughs> it's after lunch. Congratulations, girl. Thank you. 